Very good, my friends. In today's video, we are going to review the trail camera TC22 from Cam Park. This camera, I think, is one of the best cameras I ever have because it has such advanced functionalities like battery and solar panel, as well as Wi-Fi. The solar panel and the battery is going to allow us to leave the camera as long as we want in the wild if we find a good location with sun otherwise the battery will not charge okay let's see what came in the box the camera was in perfect condition and came with protective plastics on the sensor and lenses we have a manual of with the instructions it came with two straps that will allow us to place it even on trees with very thick trunks it also came with a USB-C cable that will allow us to transfer photos and video or charge the camera. Okay, here we have the USB-C port to charge the camera. The camera came with the solar panel integrated. It has sensors to detect 180 degrees in front of the camera and it has infrared light so we could get good pictures at night. Okay, let's open the camera. We have a battery indicator here. I'm going to put it in mode setup. The SD card is not included, but it supports SD cards up to 128 GB and they must be at least class 10. U3 is recommended. Okay, I'm going to install the application and I'm going to get some pictures that I already made. I'm going to install the wildlife camera application. I'm going to allow all the permissions. I'm going to click on add camera, okay, device list, it has detected the camera. I'm going to allow the access to the location on the device and I'm going to press on the camera to do the connection. It took like 30 seconds. Connectado. This is going to be very good to position properly the camera. Okay. Another thing we can do from here is take videos or pictures clearly. Let's test the video quality. Vamos a ver qué tal se escucha el sonido de la cámara. Estoy tomando un video desde muy cerca y con una exposición bastante alta. And now I'm going to take a picture and let's see the quality of the. This photo is taken at the maximum quality of the camera, that is 60 megapixels, and let's zoom in to see the detail. Undoubtedly, and by far the best photo quality among all the trail cameras I ever owned. Okay, I'm going to leave the camera there for a few days, one week for example, and we will see what we have got after that. Just taking a look to the videos that and pictures that I took with the camera on the mobile phone, they were looking very good, at least compared with the other cameras that they have. The price is higher, but if you need good sensors to get good pictures, uh, it's promising, but let's wait and see the locality of the image when we are at night. I have tried a few cameras and this one must be like the 10th one I tried and by far it's the one with the best video quality. Also, it also costs as twice as the most expensive camera I have ever tried. The daytime video quality can go up to 4K at 30 FPS and the nighttime quality up to 1080 pixels at 30 fps. The files are saved in MP4 for optimal compression. The camera is equipped with high sensitive infrared sensors that will detect any movement within 180 degrees in front of the camera, like even this small bird. The camera's sensitivity can be configured. The triggering speed between detecting movement and starting recording is approximately 0.1 seconds, so you are not going to lose anything that happens in front of the camera. In the photos and videos, you can view the time, date, battery level and temperature. You have the option to use a password to secure the camera in case of theft. It holds a IP66 waterproof rating, so heavy rain is not a problem. The camera is powered by a 4400 milliamps lithium battery. I have been testing for a month and the battery level has remained constantly full. The camera has three modes, 
photo only, video only or photo and videos. When it is set to photos and video mode, it will first capture the number of photos we have configured and then proceed to record the video. It will be a great enhancement if it could perform both tags simultaneously, but I haven't yet come across a trail camera that can do that. All of these videos and photos are taken in Corbera Llobregat near Barcelona and to be honest, I wasn't expecting to capture so many animals. The camera blends seamlessly into the environment, even this person who was very close to it didn't notice its presence. In this video, the camera lens is dirty because the animals do detect it and sometimes even give it a nudge with their noses. To configure the camera we can do it from the mobile application or directly into the camera. To configure the camera we have to set the camera in setup mode. Bad. The camera has a 2.4 inches color TFT LCD screen with a resolution of 320 times 240 pixels. The camera screen is going to allow us to configure the camera and to preview the videos and pictures like in this example. Uh, y video, video, photo. The camera has integrated a speaker so we are going to be able to hear the videos. By default the camera shows in real time what is in front of the camera. It allows as well to take pictures and videos directly from the menu. For that we set the camera in video or picture mode and we click on shot. When clicking on mode we can access the camera configuration. In here we can set the camera mode, we can set the when we press the mode button, we can access the camera settings. Here, we can configure parameters such as the camera mode, motion sensor sensitivity, enabling the time lapse mode, set up infrared lights for night use, and establishing a monitoring period. If we move to the photo menu, we can adjust the number of photos to be taken per motion, image quality, and shuttle speed. In the video mode, Settings include video quality, recording duration, and sound recording preference. Under the general configuration section, we can change the camera language, format the SD card, and adjust other connectivity and on-screen display options. Now, the quick question, is it really worth buying this camera? My answer is yes. The image quality reminds me of what you can achieve with a mobile phone. It surpasses all the other cameras I have tested and is more than 10. The battery longevity along with the solar panel is a significant factor. The price range from around 160 to 170 euros, but considering I can't forget about buying battery every few months, I'm fond of it. You can find cameras that are okay for about 50 euros, but if you are seeking quality and convenience, this is definitely your camera. I hope this video has been useful for you. If you have questions, leave it in the comment. I will leave a link to the product on the description. I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching and see you in next video.